So Supermarket Simulator just got its brand new restocking update, and last time I asked you if I should continue playing, and you yelled at me a lot. Like a lot. So now not only do I have to manage the store, make sure I'm buying the right product, but now I get the joy of kicking back while someone else does all the shelf stocking for me. But actually, speaking of which, we need to get a little bit of a restock going here. And there has been a great update to this game. Pretty soon I won't have to do this part of my job either. Look, I can see how many things are on the shelf now. Also, I really feel like I'm chucking boxes now. Did I work out? Whatever. Open the store. Because what I want to do is I believe if I purchase a small rack for the price of 202 bucks, I can set this up in here. And then just place that up on the shelf. No? You just go right there? Alright. Look, now I can see I've got 12 sodas available. But a whole other part of this. Now I can hire a restocker. Hello, buddy. Are you ready to work your life away? Huh? All right, purchase 10 heaping things of product. Whoops, basically just going to run in here with what I have and set them on the shelves. Oh no, I need another small rack and I do not have the funds. Look at this guy, look at him. Look at this minimum wage laborer. Bruh. He just filled it on up. I'm good, I'm good to run the ultimate store now. He's working so hard. You're not getting a raise no matter what, buddy. I don't care that your sister's in the hospital. Think about my profit margins, huh? Although I do think I should probably purchase another small rack. Everyone's always saying that a bigger rack would be better, but I kind of like the small ones that just fit nice in this little space. I don't want to buy the upgrade for my extra little zone. Maybe when I'm filthy rich, we can do that. See, I currently have 30 products available to sell though. Each small rack only holds six things, so I'm not quite able to get a fully automated system up yet, that is. The checkouts are full. Hang on, buddy. You're fired. Leave it to me. I'm much faster at this than you. Mainly because I have human sentience and you don't. 3319, ma'am. Have a nice day. Jeez, you're buying so many things. Dude, I spent like $600 today and I'm already back to 448. The riches are just gonna keep pouring in. All right, thank you for your patronage. Oh my gosh, four things of tea. Are you doing a seance or something? Why? I've got absolutely great margins on that. So you know what? That's chill. These customers are really running my shelves bare here. It's fine. Just paid the bills that I needed. Take care of the payments that I had. I'm at 121 bucks now, but we're all right. People were kind enough to buy everything. Day over. What an impressive day it was. No, fearing flower is down. 619. Let's price it at 622. People have told me that I'm actually able to go a little bit above market price and so I've just been bleeding money when I didn't have to. Something's kind of nice too because now I'm just able to see what I'm missing. Like there's nothing on this shelf at all. Why do I not have anything there? Whatever. So I need more cereal, green oil, rice, yellow pasta, flour, chocolate, and it's too expensive. All right, no yellow pasta for now. We are open for business and I should probably do a story design now that I can stock things differently or I can continue working on my box walls. Bruh. No, you have too much free time on your hands. You gave me $100 for something that costs 250 Yeah, I'm gonna make everybody think you're going to a specific establishment, buddy. Big mistake. And you're getting 50 pennies to go along with it. Get out of here, jerk. No common decency on anybody. All right, quick midday restock. Been out of cheese for who knows how long. Elo spaghetti, yeah, 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 I know, checkout lines. Couldn't find sliced bread. Who keeps stealing all my sliced bread? Oh my gosh, this lady just bought the whole dang store. This is fine, everyone, just give me all of your money, please. Just like, yeah, all of it, you got it. I'm at 350 bucks. I'm trying to reach like 800. Feel free to tip your cashier. <laughs> If you'd please, I'd argue I do more work than baristas and you still tip them. Nope. They don't have to deal with people buying three things of tea and a carton of eggs. Or this guy who just bought one thing of cheese. Man, they're really sucking me dry here. Huh? No one wants to buy all these dang sodas I have though. Look at, I've got 58 cups of yogurt. Mr. President, you too good for yogurt, huh? Oh wow, no, he's, he's going right to it. Wow, okay, I'm sorry guys. Didn't know where the yogurt lovers came out at 9 p.m. I guess makes sense actually. Yo, this dude's jacked and like dead inside. Live on, brother. The cruel world out there, don't let it beat you down. Mainly, I just want him to come back and buy more stuff. I don't actually care how his day goes. And with that, I think my day is complete, meaning our new balance is 781. Looks like tea is up, so we'll price that at 670. Along with basic pasta, it's up to 320 now, 325. And I, I think it's time we do a little redesigning. I need to try and get my fridges right. Cheese up there, eggs up there. I wanna basically buy like one of everything. Just, okay, yeah, it keeps collapsing. There goes another 300 bucks. It'll be worth it, Kate. It'll be worth it. Just ignore the money that's burning through your pocket. But with this last little purchase, I think I've just bought everything so I can do a full shelf restock. I wish this guy could like pick up what I was putting down and just kind of store it away. So here we are. 
a store that is fully stocked and reorganized to some degree. And the rest of the stuff I can just dump into storage with no regard for actual spacing. All right, we are open. What are you doing, buddy? You glitched out? You glitched out because there's no need to replace any of the milks? Yeah, you're glitched. You're fired, and then you're hired again. Did you take my box of fully stocked milk with you? Yo, this guy just straight up robbed me. Well, that makes you wonder. Oh my gosh, this lady's so much stuff that it literally didn't load into the checkout line. And she's paying with cards, so that's a nice juicy $66 profit. I may be able to rid myself of the debt that I put myself into. And I've got twins buying stuff. One bought two things of pasta, one bought a thing of chocolate. I'll never understand, twins. God, this restocker guy is just a blessing. Like I said though, what, I have 30 products I can buy. These shelves hold six. So I need, what, 600 more dollars to buy enough small racks? Because then I could have a box for every product. Um, I do also have $1,900 in debt I need to pay off though. Oopsies. Great news though, I can pay off this one loan early already. Oh, he's, he's stuck again. I don't even know what he's trying to restock. You're hired, you're fired, you're fire hired. Look, it's the first day since these guys have gotten sentient in this game. I'm not expecting them to be perfect, but I also only have $2 now, so let's open the store and make some money, huh? Now, at what point in my storage do I unlock this random door? I don't like owning the building and then the building next to it and not having access to my door. And I have to go shining on it here in a second. $82? That might be the most expensive sale I've ever done, and I just did it to Bill Gates, I think. I really should have overcharged him. Which actually gives me an idea. I just saw this guy pick up apple juice, I think. If I make it $2,000, is he gonna give me that? Answer, no, it's still 285. Dang it. There goes my days as being a scam artist. I feel like today, gonna be a good day. I'm gonna buy some chocolate, more pasta, more rice. Shelves looking a little barren here. Looks like I need more tea and warm milk. The real nice thing about my stalker guy too is he works uh, before I open. So before I even try and help out, I just run in there and then dump a bunch of stuff on his shelves <laughs> to just kind of cut my workload in half. What do you want from me? I'm like the laziest guy. All right, I'd say we're good to open up. To pay off my stupidly high loan that I took, I just need 1,200 more dollars. That's doable, right? <laughs> no, what's he stuck trying to figure out? The chocolate's right there. What if I take it away and then put one on? Take it away, put one over there. Nah, he's just, he fully breaks sometimes. Fired, hired, wait, no, I can't hire him back because I don't have 90 bucks. And does he disappear with my chocolate? Dude, he does. It's so hard to find good help these days. Don't worry, I hired his identical twin brother who's working extremely well. Okay, it's gotten to the point where customers are buying, yeah, this is 87 bucks again. I'm starting to think I need to hire like a second cashier now too. These are all very good problems to have. And buddy, can you uh, restock a little faster? Huh, chop chop? Bruh. I keep getting people who are like, oh, I couldn't find the thing. And it's like, ah, it's in the back. It's in the back. Wait for him. He'll come back and stock it, I promise. How are their cheese packets in my orange? Oh, and they're just like treated as orange juice now? That's definitely a bug. I just won't think about it too hard. <laughs> oh, not again. It's the chocolate. Something with the chocolate bugs them out. You know what? New idea. You're fired. My cashier buddy, you're hired. I'll take the role of the restocker for a second. I'm gonna need more cheese, more peanut butter, more turco. For some reason people love that soda and they've only bought three of my other sodas this entire time. That's a pretty tough ratio. Yeah, and looks like I run into a uh, checkouts are full situation. I don't really know if I experienced a negative because of that though. I think people just get upset. This guy's been walking back and forth for a while and now he's just gonna go stand in line. Die about it. I don't know. Great news though. I'm officially over a thousand dollars. So we can check out this fine gentleman and my day and adjust for inflation or whatever. Because after rebuying some supplies, this is not where that goes. After rebuying some supplies that I needed for the shop, I'm hoping today is the day I can dig myself out of my debt hole. It's weird. It feels like this thing was designed to try and keep me in debt. Ah, probably not. And open. Got plenty of eggs, plenty of water, running low on milk, running low on orange juice. God, you're just so slow, huh? Tell you what, you're fired. Bruh. Yeah, he would never get through this in time. Oh my gosh. Bro went out and bought one of everything. All right, let me clear that amount of people that was in here. 1587. Oh, I think I have enough. Bank, loans, pay off early. We're debt free.
Oh, it feels so good. Who'd have thought? What's going on with this guy? There's just like something with this shelf that makes the NPCs bug out. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that shelf up and move it over there. Nah, he's still bugging out about something. Why can't people just learn how to shop properly? And I quit to the menu and that just erases all the customers. Maybe that'll help. Or I've doomed myself. One of the two. Huh? See, this guy was able to buy one chocolate. Maybe that fixed a problem. Maybe I can hire my restocker now. Maybe it was just an issue that I need to remember to try and save quit every once in a while. <laughs> is everyone else losing the light in their eyes or is it just me? Oh, I need to turn the lights on. There we go. Thought it was finally time to succumb to the darkness. Yeah, yeah, we're always out of something. Hang on, I'm getting it. Finish up this day relatively smoothly. Now I need to start buying more products again. Oh God. Just trying to restock the shop now that I'm not bleeding 120 bucks a day to that stupid loan. Why did I ever sign that paperwork? There we go, full stock reshop. I ended up with a little bit over $100 to play with. Oh, and people bought my orange juice cheese. What? Good, hopefully that bug never happens again. <laughs> that one was a toughie to try and figure out. Wait, why do I still have to make payments on the loan that I paid off? That's not how loans work. God, they're always after my money. You look like a nice guy, jeez. Bro is thirsty. That's why you should never come to the supermarket hungry or thirsty. You just end up overbuying. But you know what? That's fine with me. Thank you, lady. You know what? I'm feeling like it'll work out fine this time. Let's hire my restocker back. This time when something breaks, I'll just save quit and hope that it fixes itself. Is that maybe a little too hopeful? Probably. Nothing I get to really do about it either way. <laughs> Jeez, again, bought out my whole dang store. 97 bucks? Every day we get closer and closer to seeing my first $100 sale. And I can't wait. Go ahead and go to the bank. I've got enough money I can pay off my last few loans. We'll go to management and I'll pay off my four bills that I've got for the day. That was a huge hit to the amount of money that I had saved up, but I think it means that in one more day, I'm gonna be able to make some pretty big strides because I'm debt free and don't have anything to worry about for at least the next four days. Ooh, cheese is up, nice. All right, so let's refill my shelves, which, okay, why does everything just always fall? One of these jerks learned how to stack properly, clearly. Ah, exploitative labor. I love when he just works hard and I stand here in the corner like I'm kind of Blair witching. Makes me feel important. He actually restocked the whole store without any issue this time. Really, all you had to do is just save and quit and you're golden. My box wall also kind of fell apart. So did that one. It's not even a wall there. Man, today kind of sucks. But if all goes well, today's the day that I can really get this restocker going. Oh yeah, and if we keep getting these $71 orders from Mr. Moneybags himself over here, we'll be there in no time. I don't know what possessed me to do that accent, but I think I'm slowly becoming delusional after working in the supermarket for so long. Okay, they're like intentionally making me mad. Nobody's buying a big amount of, never mind. I love you. Do you want to get married? We can get married, right? If it isn't the big man himself, thanks for buying stuff, buddy. He might be my favorite customer now. It'd be really cool if there was like ever a multiplayer update for this game. It's just like one person mans the register, the other does the restocking, the other orders stuff. Call me crazy, but I think that would be fun. Crazy. I was crazy once. Lock me in a room. And day over. It's been 32 days since I've been manning this store and I've officially got 900 bucks in the bank. However, I'm going to use that to just buy a little bit of product that I'm running low on and we'll open up for the next day. So you just bought one thing of salt, really. Just to actually speed this up too, take a quick loan from the bank, 750. I can pay it off early pretty casually. But what I wanna do is increase my storage size, which, okay, wow, this thing's quite large now, huh? Let's move these all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, waiting for cash at. I'll be right there, stupid jerk. Now at the market, I can buy three more shelves. I literally just saw God drop those from the sky. The supermarket sultan or whatever he's called. But here we go. Now this is big enough to hold at least seven racks. It's like my bank account. <laughs> See, but now it's nice. I no longer need to use my brain. I can just buy the first 10 items, purchase, then come through, click the next 10, purchase. Sorry, buddy, let me check you out here. Yep, mm, basmati rice lovers logged on, huh? And then of course, you know, the next 10. Big old boxes of everything in here that one of these days I will probably sort. Today, not that day though. I think this is like one of the last little boxes I have there. Look, look at storage. I think that also holds everything now. That's a lot of money spent and everything, but it, it's fine. Wait, dude, I didn't know you could store stuff on the floor. Each of these hold eight? Oh, I've got one too many shelves then. All right, uh, safe to say, uh, we're gonna be making some pretty big strides with the store now. Let me just remember to pay all my debts this time. <laughs> I don't wanna get trapped in that hole ever again. But if you think I should continue Supermarket Simulator, leave me a comment down below and let me know what we should name our new employee. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see ya.